Hi, I'm Taylor Gurken with Peghead Nation, and I'm here with a very exciting brand new Taylor guitar called the K14CE Builder's Edition. This guitar not only introduces the new Builder's Edition line of limited edition instruments uh, that Taylor is coming out with, um, it also introduces a completely new type of top bracing uh, called V-Class bracing. V-Class bracing is Taylor's Andy Power's latest development, and it's a pretty radical departure from traditional flat top guitar building in that it uh, doesn't involve an X bracing of the top. Instead, it uses uh, kind of a V-shape architecture uh, that has two braces going from about the top of the sound hole, uh, going all the way back to the tail block in a V-shape uh, like this. Uh, there are two cross braces, one going here below the sound hole, one going up here in the um, in the upper bout, and there's a set of um, four symmetrical braces on each side of the V uh, going between where the long V braces are toward the side in the lower bout. And of course, there's a bridge plate under the bridge area as well. Taylor feels that this V-class bracing offers a new approach to how to control the top's vibrations. And of course, that really um, affects everything. It affects the guitar's tone, it affects the guitar's sustain, the clarity. Um, and those are some of the things that Taylor feels like uh, this new design improves, particularly when it comes to note separation, uh, to the volume of the guitar, uh, to the clarity, and even the intonation of the instrument is influenced by it. Uh, so it's a very interesting new idea. It's something that um, I haven't seen on other steel string guitars uh, executed quite like this. And most likely, it really is um, a new era for Taylor guitars that is starting with this new V-class bracing. I'll come back to playing the guitar in a moment to demonstrate some of these uh, tonal qualities. Uh, but let's take a closer look at this particular instrument that I'm holding, which is part of um, the first introduction of these new V-Class bracing guitars. Uh, as I mentioned, it's a K14CE Builder's Edition. And Taylor kind of calls this Andy Powers sort of director's cut of, of these new guitars, in that he really put in several new ideas, uh, some of which go beyond the new bracing as well on the guitar. So so let's take a look. It's a grand auditorium body, uh, which is a shape that most of us are familiar with. Taylor's been offering this for a long time. But it has a few tweaks. In this case, uh, it's built with beautiful koa back and sides. It has a torified Sitka spruce top. It has, of course, the familiar ebony fingerboard and bridge. It has the armrest bevel in the lower bout, uh, which Taylor did introduce several years ago, and it's been part of several of their more high-end models. But something that's new is it also has a small bevel in the cutaway area right here, which uh, can help you access even further than the standard uh, Taylor cutaway does. Uh, it's also a beautiful visual complement to the bevel in the, uh, the armrest bevel in the lower bout. Um, this particular Builder's Edition guitar also has the entire perimeter of the top uh, rounded just ever so slightly. So there's really no sharp edge, and it rests very comfortably on your leg. Um, really, anywhere you touch it, uh, it, it, there's no sharp corners on this guitar. So very comfortable to hold. And it has a new finish, uh, which Taylor calls the silent satin finish. And you can tell that it's kind of in between what we think of as a uh, a gloss finish and a satin finish. And Andy Powers was telling me that this is a finish that is particularly uh, quiet as you're rubbing against it with your hands or as you're playing it. And it's something that he's uh, come up with in reaction to studio players saying that sometimes handling noise can be an issue in the studio. So that's something that they're trying to address with this new silent satin finish. The guitar uses power shell inlay uh, in several places. It has the inlay in the fingerboard that kind of spans the entire length of the, uh, the fretboard. Uh, it also uses power shell for the uh, purfling around the body. And it's very nice how it's done below the armrest right here. Uh, it uses the power for the uh, rosette and also has um, shell purfling in the back. The guitar uses Goto 510 tuners with a 21 to 1 ratio. That's the top of the line Goto tuner. And there's a couple elements uh, that are new that you can also use to identify these guitars, uh, because some of the models um, are similar to previous models with the same names, uh, but have the V-class bracing. And that is that it has a black nut 
All the new V-Class bracing guitars have a black nut. It's a graphite uh, material nut that not only reduces the friction at the nut, but it's also a visual identification that you can use just to identify these new guitars. Um, quite significant is that the label of the guitar inside um, is the first time that Taylor's had a label that is actually signed by Andy Powers. Um, Bob Taylor's signature is kind of superimposed in the back, uh, but this really sends a message that uh, Andy Powers is the chief designer at Taylor Guitars, and it's reflected in the fact that he's been signing these labels. So what we're looking at here is really the future of Taylor Guitars. Um, at this point in their history, uh, Taylor has completely re-envisioned and revolutionized the way acoustic guitars are manufactured. Uh, they have looked at every element of uh, playability of the guitar, starting with their neck shapes, uh, creating the completely adjustable uh, bolt-on Taylor neck um, that is featured on all Taylor guitars now. Uh, taking a look at things like how the guitar is finished, what kind of materials to use for that, uh, creating their own electronic system, uh, some original body shapes. Uh, so the time has come to re-envision the way a guitar's top is braced and uh, looking at ways to move ahead from the traditional X bracing that has been used on steel string guitars really since the very earliest steel string guitars have been created and uh, Taylor V-Class bracing is just that. So let's take another listen to this K14 CE Builders Edition. I'm now in dadgad tuning, and uh, I find that this is really a great way to demonstrate the clarity of the guitar that's really omnipresent uh, no matter how you play the guitar, really. But here we go. So what I find really impressive about the uh, sound of this guitar is the overall clarity and the way how fretted notes and open notes uh, have a very similar sound quality, where a lot of times you're playing a guitar and you're playing the same note on an open string and a fretted string, and you're really getting a different tonal quality, and there's an evenness and a balance to this guitar. that I find very impressive in that way, and it's a very precise feeling guitar. You pick it up and, and, and it feels like a very precise instrument, precise tool if you, if you want. Um, one of the areas that Taylor um, is emphasizing in the tonal qualities of this new V-Class bracing is that it actually improves the intonation of the guitar. And that's a very interesting concept because most of us tend to think of intonation as being primarily affected by the scale length, the position of the saddle and the nut, uh, the fret spacing. And of course, that all has to be in place. Um, but Taylor feels that by controlling the guitar's overtones and, 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 and having a, a clarity uh, that relates to that note separation I was touching on earlier, it also improves the intonation of the guitar. And it really is uh, very impressive. For example, in Dadgad, a lot of times the second string will be an issue uh, as you're going up the neck. And I really find uh, with this guitar, uh, it's, it, it's basically a non-issue. So overall, the guitar is an incredibly precise sounding and playing guitar. I love the note separation that you get, the, uh, the evenness between fretted and open strings, uh, the intonation precision. There's a certain control over the harmonics, uh, where everything kind of sits in a, in, a, in a great spot. And I could see that this guitar would be super popular with people who do a lot of recording, uh, just because of this precision. There, there isn't going to be much you have to fix in the mix with a guitar that has such a clarity and an even sound uh, that, that is really inherent as soon as you play it. 
Um, the V-Class bracing is being introduced uh, with this builder's edition, uh, K14CE. Uh, there's also a presentation series, PS14C, uh, an all COA version that's similar to this guitar, that's a K24CE, and there's also a 914CE. So right now, uh, Taylor's introducing these kind of at the high end of the offerings, uh, but the plan is to, as the year progresses, as 2018 progresses, other Grand Auditorium models uh, will be changed over to this V-Class bracing, and um, eventually other Taylor body shapes will also benefit from this new design. So that's Taylor's new K14CE and the new V-Class bracing. Um, to go out, I'm going to show you what it sounds like plugged into a uh, Fishman Loudbox Mini Charge Amplifier so you can hear the ES2 electronics. And I hope you come and visit us again here at Peggot Nation for our gear demos. My name is Taya Gurken.